Presently, with how many countries does Nigeria maintain double tax treaty? Nigeria presently maintains a double tax arrangement with 16 countries. And those countries are um, Belgium, Canada, China, Czech Republic, um, France, Italy, the Netherlands, Pakistan, Philippines, Romania, Slovakia, Singapore, South Africa, and we have um, Spain, Sweden, and the United Kingdom. So a double tax treaty basically is a written and formal document between two countries to mitigate against the incidence of um, double taxation. Considering that there might be a perception among taxpayers that these figures are arbitrarily determined by LRS, how does your agency ensure that the assessments for building approvals are fair and what are the basis for these assessments? So basically, when we raise assessments for these applicants, um, that usually means that the applicant is not tax, tax compliant or is not paying the right amount of taxes. And um, we are limited to the information about the applicant um, because the Lagos State Fiscal Planning Permit Authority, who are primarily in charge of um, building approvals, send us this information. So basically the parameters we look out for are the location of the build, the number of, number of units, the size of the build, the volume, the number of floors and the purpose of the building, if it's for residential or commercial. Can you provide insights into how tax assessments for building approval clearance have influenced revenue generation in the last years? Well, to be honest, um, tax assessment from building approval does not significantly contribute to revenue generation um, because what we try to do is more of compliance to make sure that um, these applicants are captured, are well captured in tax net and um, also to reduce the incidence of tax evasion amongst applicants um, applying for a building approval. So it's more of a compliance and adequate, adequate thing rather than revenue, actual revenue.